Okay, guys. So we are going to talk about uh, this: how to install Linux machine, the Red Hat Linux machine, inside your VMware, right? So I just chosen the option that is uh, related to what, how you can, well, how you can install the Linux machine inside your VM. Let me just tell you. First of all, you have to create. You have to click on the create a new machine, new virtual machine over that, and then you have to click on the custom over there, right? After that, just go for the by default settings, right? And then you have to choose that image file that is you have, right? So whatever the image file that you have, just browse that image file and choose this image file. And that image file must just uh, before choosing this image file, just make sure that that is the dot ISO file. As you can see over there, that is ISO file, right? After clicking on this iso file you have to click on the open right so after that you have to click on the next and next 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 right you have to if that uh if you are going to install the linux machine over there so you have to click on the linux otherwise you have to click if you if you're installing the microsoft windows machine over there so you have to click on that right and and here you have to choose that uh, particular Windows machine that is you are going to install it, right? So I think let me just check that do we have 2019 or not? That is Windows Server 2019. So I think I do not have inside this. Let me just check. I don't have any any things to do over there, but if you if you have any other files to import over there, such as Linux file and all the things, so you can go for the uh, go to browse settings over there, and then you can click on the Linux machine that is you have right. Click on the open, and then just click on the next after that. Right there, you will get the option that is Linux and just go by, go for the by default and click on the next, next and next, right? So this machine you can also uh, you can also set the number of processors over there and number of the core per processors after that, right? After choosing these option, you have to click on the next and then you, you will get the option to choose the RAM capabilities over there, right? So you can increase or you can decrease the RAM capabilities according to your requirement, right? After choosing this option, you have to click on the next and go for the by default, right? Click on the next, next, and the next. So after following this step, everything is uh, everything will be uh, just taken by this machine, and it is going to take a little bit time to install it. And once this installation will be done. Or uh, these these processes will be done, so there they will get the option. Let me just that guys let's just turn off this machine it have the very low configuration low hardware configuration so that's why it's not going to show you right uh, so after that you have to uh, this kind of wizard after installing or after choosing that option you will get it then you have to click on the continue after choosing the language over there right so this is our red hat enterprise linux 8.4 right so we have lots of version inside this red hat linux that is we have this machine is not have the good network
just guys hang on a minute let me just take the access of it again sometimes it should be happen with you as well like uh, just make sure that your machine will be work properly then you can do the installation easily right over there that uh, that remote machine is not working properly that have not the good network so that's why that is um, like breaking in between that so let it just connect then we will do the practice on that okay Yeah, I mean, right. Okay, so I took, I just take the access of this machine. Let me just enter the password over there. Right. So over here, uh, just resume this virtual machine. Uh, let me do that. Because of I just paused this virtual machine uh, for a second. Because of that was not, uh, I was not able to get the options that is related to the installation and option over there. All right, so that's why I just uh, took the, I, I just paused this machine over there. Let me do that again. Let it open. Here you will also get the status of it, right? This is now in the restoring status. So uh, it is this machine is going to restore just for a few seconds, then it will cut turn on. Right, guys. Let it just uh, let it just restore it. Then we will talk about that. okay now it, the machine is working properly so after choosing the language what you have to do uh, you have to click on the continue right once it will once you will click on the continue so there will be the option let it just Connection quality is very poor, guys. That's why we are not able to. That's why this machine is not working properly. That's why it is going to take a little, like, lots of time to to work on a one process. Guys, uh, we were talking about this Red Hat machine over there, right? Means, uh, what was the Red uh, What was the Red Hat machine that is behind? Let me just open that one. See, um, we were talking about this machine, right? So this is our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5, right? And uh, that was, which is I was I was installing on that server, that was Red Hat Enterprise. Um, 8.4 was it right so once this uh, see guys uh the some differences that you would find it out inside the gui mode of this machine right In, as you can see inside this machine that we have only the few um that very less of this uh this particular screen resolution over there that is 800 by 600 right that will be work on the 60 hertz right but over there you will get the full resolution of that right it depends upon your um upon your machine version that is you are going to use it but everything will be same just like you are getting these options over there in the preferences so everything will be same and um, you can you can do whatever you want but everything will be same just like your this version of the linux machine Right, so let me just check that. 
that is working or not. Okay. So uh, after that, what you will get inside this, which is um, we have some kind of uh, the desktop options over there. If you will get any any things that is, uh, if you will get any error during this, so you you have you have to click on this. I would like to make additional space available, right? So after choosing this option, you have to click on the done. Right. What it will do? Basically, it will just, uh, just, just, uh, just, just uh, give you the some additional space over on this machine, right? So, with using this additional space, you can use this space in your drive. Okay, so after that, what you have to do, um, just click on the free space and this uh, reclaim space after that. You have to click on the reclaim space, right? Then this will be work on that, okay? Once this process will be done, so there will be the root password required over there, right? Which is you have to, uh, we have to enable that, the root password, right? Once this process will be done, so then it will move to this part, right? Automatically, it will move to the root part, uh, the root configuration. Now, just make sure that whatever the root password that you are going to um, configure over there, that password will be required uh, uh, all the times. But so I'm going to configure the password, which is times at the 2021. Right. Just confirm the password after that. Times at the rate 2021. Right. After uh, configuring this password over on this device, just let me just make sure. Okay. After configuring these things, just click on that and click on done after that, after choosing the password, then the uh, then the every functions will be work properly. So let it just complete. As, as you can also see over there, that has the very really poor network quality. That's why we are facing this issue. See, uh, there is one more thing that I want to share it with you. Whatever the root password that you have configured over there, right that root password always uh, whatever the things that you are going to do that uh, like if you are going to use uh, if you are going to add any additional softwares or edit additional function inside this Linux machine so always these root password will be needed over there right so just always remember remember this root password if you forgot this root password so we do not have any any other option to reset the password of this linux machine because of that have the very um, high security configuration on that right okay so this was just uh, this was the only last step of it right now we can just let me move to this part because of every functions will be same right
So let's talk about the functions of this Linux machine, right? If you click on the applications, first of all, uh, this is your GUI mode access. Uh, you will get the GUI mode access as well and the CLI mode as well, right? So this is your GUI mode. You can um, you can also configure and you can also make the some directories, some files over there, right? So with with using these files, we have uh, lots of things to do inside these files, right? If we have any bin file, so you can find it out these functions inside the bin file only, right? As you can see over there, we have uh, lots of functions that is working inside the bin file. If I talk about the home, so we have the particular user information over there, right? Such as uh, whatever the file name that you have created on the desktop and all the things. So these are the things that you will get inside this, right? Now, let me just close it. If you are going to check that boot file, so this boot file will tell you that where my operating system is stored, right? So that uh, every operating system information you will get inside this, right? <clears throat> now let me just close that. Now, if I talk about the system, this SYS, so we have the lots of files also inside this system. Uh, like we have uh, the some power files. So over there we can um, we can just get the state or whatever the state that is we have regarding this power file. We have the kernel, right? Where your uh, all kind of um, just all kind of uh, information is going to store inside this. We have from where we have. Uh, we have bus, we have block, we have FS, right? We have lots of files over there. That is, uh, see, basically, whatever the function or the files that you want to verify over on this machine, so you have these files, right? So following these files, you can uh, easily identify your machine's information and uh, basically all kind of uh, functions that is you have inside this operating system, this Linux operating system, right? Now, if we talk about how we can create the some uh, some kind of uh, files with using this CLI mode. So you have uh, basically the lots of things over there, such as uh, just click on the administration, right? And is that? let me just Now, over there inside this application, uh, and after that, you have to click on the accessories, right? There you will get the option regarding the terminal, right? Once you will click on the terminal, so now this is my current location over there, right? If you want to go the one step back, so you have the cd dot dot command over there, right? So cd dot. See, basically, the, what is a basically. Uh, after cd dot, you have to tell uh, that particular file name that you want to change the directory from there, right? So I have the only one directory over there, so we are not able to change the directory over there because of what is the use of this cd dot. We have lots of, I uh, see guys, we have lots of, uh, lots of uh, commands over there to learn over there, to learn it, right? So uh, for this particular command line interface and all the things, we will also talk about that, right? But let's uh, let's talk about these basic function of this Linux machine, right? So you'll get the all kind of devices. That is, you have uh, the system tool, right? Inside the system tool, you have the software updater information, user profile editor. If you want to uh, edit any user information, so you can edit from there. See, guys. That's why I, I just told you that just keep remember the root password because of whatever the function that you are going to do that over on the every step, these in these information or that these password is going to ask, right? So the, you can add the some profile name over there if you do not have any profile. So you can add the some profiles according to your user's information and all, right? 
now if we talk about the internet so by default you will get the firefox web browser inside this right and uh, these are the some graphics inside this we we have the, some image viewer inside this right and the some scanner tool also we have we have a calculator we have dictionary right so what are these basically um we can we can basically uh, type the any things and we can make the notes as well over on this dictionary and if we talk about the system and the preferences so we have all kind of hardware hardware information over there right uh, hardware option that you can manage the hardware um the hardware prop uh, properties and uh, how the hardware that works these are the things you will manage with you following this step right so these are the things that is we have inside this linux machine right let me check that it's working or not I did some mistake over there. Okay, now click on the done. So once you have done the password configuration over there, so there you will begin the installation right you have to click on the begin the installation so guys uh see these all are all all kind of the installation summary that is we have and uh we can check these kind of uh, options over there with following this step right uh, let me just show you one more thing now you have the some user creation also over there right so whatever the user uh, that you are going to create it over there suppose that right i just create the user and make this user as an administrator right now the password which is i'm going to configure over there that is the same password which is i have configured in the root times at the rate 2021 right the same thing you have to also do that over there at the rate 2021 okay after that uh, after choosing these all the things uh, that your user is created right so make sure that uh, just keep remember that username and the password which is you have created on that right now after that you have to click on the begin installation now the installation process is preparing right so once the process, uh, the once the installation process will be completed, then you will in easily enter inside this Linux machine, right? So let it just complete. Every file, every function, or uh, every software information is going to checked inside this and then it will just move to this uh like it, then it will uh, it will provide you the function regarding this red hat enterprise operating system right so let it install guys once it will install we will also talk about that